going on fellas today we're swapping out a leveling valve height control leveling valve which would be right there this one right here this little sucker right here which is not hard it's just uh, these two nuts and then you just unbolt it uh, first you gotta take it off this this little thing right here which I'm gonna do right now you take it off of here and then uh, you take off your air hoses your air hoses are gonna go can you open that thing? your air hoses are gonna go right there so and going like this, like that. But that guy right there, it's it's leaking. Uh, gotta remember, uh, most of these guys are, are not all that great. So we're gonna swap that out. Again, you're gonna take out your hoses here, here, and here, and then you're gonna unplug it from right here. You can undo this nut right here. Uh, this one right here is going to stay. And that's the new one right there. And so, as soon as you unplug it, as soon as you start unplugging the, the hoses, these hoses right here, it's going to be a lot of air that's going to be released. So, the best thing to do is uh, undo your air hoses. I mean, uh, unplug them from right there. And just release all your air. That way you won't have so much air coming out. Uh, I'm going to ask my wife to uh, go ahead and release the air. Yeah. Hold on. Hold down the, the brake pedal. So I'm going gonna, gonna to unplug them. That way the air will come out. That way. So the air Let's go, Danny. Now stop on the brakes. Just keep going, keep going. So you get down to zero. Good. That's it. Okay. So now we're gonna just start uh, unplugging that valve down there. You guys will see. Take it to the other side, honey, so we can show these guys. So first I'm going to undo the the rod, this part right here, which is only uh, one nut. And I go to the other side as I can see. Make sure you hold on to uh, the washers. So, there you go. And then, uh, just gonna take the whole thing. Maybe you do wanna come on the other side there. You can see that somewhere. I'm gonna put my arms on that. Oh. So I released the, the leveling valve from the rod. So now what I want to do is uh, you 
can go about it either or. You can uh, just disconnect the whole hose off completely. Or you can go hose by hose. Now remember, once once you disconnect this, your truck will will fall down because uh, the air is going to be released out of the system. So the air on the on the airbags is going to go down. So we're just going to let it go down. I'm just going to release. I'm just going to unplug hose by hose, and then I'll deal with the. Uh, Putting the valves. Showing the airbags there. So the airbags have dropped. You guys can see all the air is out. So there's your uh, old valve, leveling height valve. So now what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna take out the fittings and put them on the new one. That's it. Um, what it looks like. There's a new one, there's an old one. Be right back. Well, here we go, fellas. I've put uh, all the fittings on there on the new one. Here's the old one. Uh, best way to do it as you're taking it off the old one, put it on the new one. That way you won't get it confused. Uh, as far as your air hoses that go in there, try to mark them or uh, just just so you can uh, know what what goes on what. This one right here you can't miss. Uh, this little one right here because uh, it's the smallest holes that's that's on there so you can't miss that one but it's just mainly these two on my truck uh, the longer one goes on this side the shorter one goes on this side and then the bottom one of course I just leave it on the bottom so I can know that it goes on the bottom uh, the way it goes on is the same way you you took it off you put it on and then you put these two on first on the bracket which is right here. That's the way I like to do it. I just, I don't tighten it. I just fit it on there. So that way it won't fall while I'm working on the truck. I mean, while I'm working on the valve. That way the valve can just hold up. Just like that just so it can just stay on there and then I just start putting the I just start putting the the hoses in it in the in the fittings so what I do is push down on the hose and then I pull back that way I know the hose has locked into the fitting like to get under the truck and do this uh, my parking has got a bunch of gravel so I don't want to get under the truck and get under the truck.
again i just pull on the hoses that's pretty much it fellas uh the rod i just put it on there put the fitting on there i mean put the washer on there it after that I just tighten it you could use a box wrench which would be easier or a socket I'm just using pliers now these you these leveling valves are cheap made, so for some reason or another, as soon as you swap out the original one, when you start buying these, they're gonna, don't depend on them to last you forever because uh, they're just cheap made. Now what I'm gonna have the wife do is just uh, turn the truck on to put uh, air in the system, and uh, you'll see the truck fill up with uh, air in the system. And the airbags go back up. And you'll be good to go. Let's see right now. The reason why I swapped it out is because uh, it went out on me. Uh, you know, every uh, sidewalk, every driveway that I hit, I was just letting out too much air. And then when I was getting offloaded or loaded, again, I was just lose, losing way too much air. So it just, uh, it went out. It went out. Even though I just swapped it out, I say, uh, three, four months ago. But... Like I said, them leveling valves, they do suck. They're not built uh, good, so that's why I'm swapping it out today. Some people like to rev their trucks to build up the air. I don't. I just let it uh, rev itself. Let's put these guys back. Come on, buddy. Come on. So there you go, it's uh, inflating now. And that is pretty much it, fellas. Pretty much it. After you do your job, uh, always, always make sure everything is nice and tight everything is nice and tight don't ever uh 
put a part on without rechecking it. All right, fellas, I hope this uh, video was helpful. We'll see you guys on our next video.